Yeah, we're going to have to. Um, I think tonight's a very disappointing. Um, you know, I thought we controlled the game pretty well for 16 hours, and then four overs of really poor batting cost us. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's frustrating that. Um, playing in patches, we're not getting a full uh, a full 40 over game in, and that's, that's frustrating. Um, yeah, we're going to have to turn it around. I think we've got some time off now, so the guys can get rid of the injuries and uh, freshen up, and then we'll have to come back hard again on Friday. Uh, Chuck, uh, being your compatriot, how do you look at Imran Tahir uh, when the way he's bowling, uh, he's 40 years old, and uh, this page is very good for batting, the way he bowled, he put the pressure? Yeah, I thought he bowled well. Um, you know, I think at times he made the wrong choices and he took advantage of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's, a, he's been a fantastic performer in, in this format of the game for a long time now, and obviously got some good skill and understands his game and, and um, how to go about it. So um, yeah, that shows you age is it's just a number. Uh, Jack, uh, what about uh, Russell's injury update? And uh, does this team uh, look a bit off colour without him uh, firing in full power? No, I don't think so. I, th I think Andre will be alright. Uh, I don't think it's too serious an injury. Um, like I said, we've got a week off now, so I'm sure the guys will get him ready and backfiring again on, on Friday. Um, look, he does make a difference when, when he does fire, obviously. Um, but yeah, when you're 142 after 16 overs, you know, you just need to finish smartly and you get to 180 on that type of wicket, which probably is a little bit slower than the, the other wickets we've had, yeah, and 180 wins you the game there easily. Chuck, the wicket was pretty slow and the ball was done. What do you want to say about your spinner's performance? Uh, I thought as a general, I thought we bowled pretty decently to try and defend that total. Um, you know, one, 170 I think would have been par, uh, 175 there and there about. Um, so I think we fought pretty well, I think that's the one positive. And, and that's the one thing at KKR do do, they don't give up in the fight. And, and even when you need 24 or 12 balls, a little bit of luck goes your way, you can win that game pretty easily. Um, so yeah, we just need a little, little bit of luck to go away. Obviously it's going with Chennai at the moment when you're on a roll like they are and, and you're winning games, things to tend to go for you. and. Um, yeah, you go with it. So, yeah, we just got to turn it around and you know work harder, and um, you know just stop making basic mistakes. And that, that's the problem is that we're making a lot of basic mistakes. Jacques, um, there is two schools of thought about uh, having a long break after a few after many losses. Some believe that uh, a long break can actually make the team root so much that they go on a slump. Some would prefer maybe a short break in the next game again to get out of it. Uh, what, do you, what does the team do for a four, five day break when? Yeah, well, I think we've played, what is it, five games in nine days or something like that, and it's most of, a lot of them have been away, so um, I think the guys are pretty pretty tired, mentally tired, and it'll be good to get away and have a break, not do any cricket for a couple of days, then work hard probably Wednesday, Thursday to, to get us ready for Friday, so yeah, I think the break's probably come at a good time for us, um, get away, sometimes you can get caught up a little bit too much in it, um, and you know, just get away from cricket and let the guys do what they want to do, and um, spend some time with... Uh, friends and family and you know, hopefully they come back refreshed and, and ready and raring to go again. Still at the end of the day, you know, we're four from eight, which is, um, you know, we could have been a lot better, but we could have been worse. Um, so yeah, we've got to come back strong and probably win four from six. Okay, 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 Jack, after the back-to-back three losses, do you think that uh, they will come back and uh, go into the knockout stages? Uh, look, you still got to, we got to win four games out of six, that's what it is, and it's one game at a time, and uh, the guys are hungry to do well. Um, you know, it's surprising the team spread's still really good. Like I said, it's basic little mistakes that we're making, and once we eradicate that, you know, I think uh, you know we'll get back on winning ways. We we just got to believe in what we're doing is correct, and like I said, stop making those basic errors. Uh, Jack, uh, no, you've been uh, losing the toss and having to bat first. Is there a problem with you know? Reading the pitch of what a total should be because sometimes the batsman is sort of overreaching, trying to hit too much. Do you feel that is a problem? Um, I don't know. It's at 140 after 16, I thought we were pretty decent, and then it just didn't finish well. You know, the general average is probably 40 in the last four. Um, if we take 35 of that, we get to what is that? One, one close to 180. So, and that's the winning total there. Um, so yeah, like I said, we, we lost a couple of wickets. I think it was twice when we lost two wickets in one over, which you can't do in this format. It puts you under a lot of pressure. Um, and yeah, look, obviously the the odds are in favour of the side batting second. I think the numbers show that and stats show that teams batting second generally are um, at an advantage. But that's no excuse. We've got to find a way. You know, to, you're not going to be able to bat second every time. So um, we've got to find a way to post good totals, 
And the way we're bowling at, at times when we get it right, we, you know, we're a b good bowling unit and we can defend scores. So we've just got to get um, a combination of both the bat and the ball working on, on the same day. At the moment, one's working and the other one's not. So. Last question. What do you think worked for Tahir when you guys have gone to Chennai and what, what worked for him on this weekend? I think just being basic. Uh, you know, he didn't do anything special. He just landed the ball in the right area. Um, obviously got good variation on his googlies and that, and, and he doesn't give him any bad balls. Um, so he just keeps it very simple and I um, mean you know, that's a formula for success in this format. Um, if you get the odds in your favour and you make batters hit the ball to where you want them to hit it and you don't give them bad balls in between, um, the odds are in your favour for, for picking up wickets and not going for too many runs, which is exactly what he's doing. No, I don't think so. Um, you know, he's the one guy that can bat anywhere in our order, and we've got a pretty settled order, and it's been successful doing that. So when the time's right and the matchups is right, he moves up the order, and or if we've got a few injuries like we did in the last game, um, I thought Lenny really played well today. Um, you know, summed up conditions pretty well and, and got us to a great position. Unfortunately, he got out um, at an awkward time, but that happens. Um, so, like I said, uh, you know, up, up for 16 overs, I think we played well, and, and unfortunately, we didn't finish that. And yeah, guys, I think everybody wants to open the batting in this format, but you know, you've got to fit in with the team, and, and, and the guys understand that. So, um, yeah, it's just a matter of what matchups that we have on the day to who bats where and, and how we use them, and you know, hopefully, on the day it works. Unfortunately, today we just fell short in those last four overs. Last question: Is there any concern that DK is not getting consistent runs in most of the matches? No, DK is working hard and you know he's hitting the ball well in the nets. Just he hasn't got going yet. He hasn't had too much of an opportunity. And um, the role that he plays for for the team is uh, is vital. Um, he's a, a good finisher and he finishes games for us and, and he's been successful doing it in the past. Um, I've no doubt he'll get a, a good score when he gets the opportunity. And um, you know his main focus is us winning games at cricket uh, and not on his personal. Uh, stuff which is what what you want in a team.